James Harden is averaging 39 points this season. He had back-to-back 50-point -back 50 games, and most teams have got absolutely no idea what to do to keep him under 30 points. Can anyone stop the beard in 2020? 30 for the NBA's leading scorer. Couple His average points this season put him third on the all-time list behind Wilt and Wilt. He is not normal. This guy's a bit of a handful too, and he's putting up scoring and rebounding numbers we haven't seen since Wilt in 1961. It's hard to make the most of a top pick in the NBA draft. Maybe that's why it's called a lottery? Sometimes high picks are a process killing bust. And sometimes there's gold buried deep in the draft. These rookies are our steals of the 2019 draft so far. Bible for three, count it! Matisse Thibel went number 20. Brandon Clark went number 21. Eric Pascal was the 41st pick and he's already put up a 34-point night. Kendrick Nunn had a 36-point game and he wasn't even in the draft. We haven't seen number one pick Zion Williamson this season, but these late round rookies are playing like future all-stars with a Draymond green size chip on their shoulder. Who is the NBA's most valuable pest of the year? Patrick Beverly is a pain. He's a mosquito buzzing around your head at three in the morning annoying. A person talking on their phone at the movies annoying. Pat Beverly has made a career out of being pesky and after playing overseas, he's now starting on an NBA title favourite. He's not the only pest that made the difference for a contender. Ever heard of Draymond Green? He even annoys himself and he's won three titles. You're around Draymond Green every day. Uh. Is he just as annoying in person as he is on television? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I may be. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Paul is bothersome. Marcus Smart isn't on the court to make friends. Lance Stevenson was downright irritating. Right, Brock? Being a pest doesn't win your friends, but it might help your team win basketball games. Pat Beverly is our most valuable pest of 2019. See Pat Beverly's Clippers take on the Lakers Thursday, 12 p.m. on KO. We take five with Andrew Bogut, Jay Sean Tate and Casper Ware from the Sydney Kings to close out the year. The toughest player I've ever had to defend was probably Yami. Um, seven foot six, he had the touch of a guard, um, was very, very crafty and could actually move for a guy that size. Miles Bridges is up there, D'Angelo Russell, Greg Oden. He probably is the hardest person to guard in the world because he's just so big. <sighs> this close call between James and Damar. I'll give it to DeMar DeRozan because he beat me more times in high school. Ooh, uh, my personal nemesis in the NBL obviously would be Melbourne United. Um, they've been a tough team, they've won a championship and I feel like we're an organisation that's trying to get to where they've been. Oh, that's the easy one. Uh, from Adelaide, Griffin. Yeah, me and that guy just don't, we, we just don't get along, so yeah. Anybody I go up against, they're my nemesis. I've uh, got no friends on the court. Once we're on the court, you're against me, I'm against you. So let's get it on. <laughs> my pick for the NBA title would be the LA Clippers. My pick for the NBA title, LA Lakers, baby. It's tough, uh, but you can't go against King James and Anthony Davis. Uh, I, I think they're doing well right now, and they might keep it up throughout the season. So yeah, Lakers. Favorite player in the world right now? Probably Luka Doncic. Unbelievable talent, um, lighting the NBA up. When he was playing, it was Kobe. Uh, Die-hard Kobe fan, but right now, if I had to choose, love Kawhi, because he played both ends of the floor. Uh, if I wasn't a professional basketball player, I'd probably be uh, on a coaching staff somewhere. Um, and worst case, I would have just been uh, laying some concrete or putting some tiles down in houses, some sort of a laborer. <laughs> Don't miss the NBL action on KO.
To honour the memory of Kevin Durant's Aunt Pearl, Nike have been teaming up with the K Yao Cancer Fund to create a pink colourway since the KD4. The Nike KD12 Aunt Pearl is the latest release and pulls design details from earlier releases to create something special. Drops 26th of December. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share. Keep ballin'. This is the Weekly Jam, out.